to give the floor to the main executive. And we have a lot. To, uh, we have two more representatives here of uh, the executive branch. We have the U.S. ambassador here, and we have the number one Russian innovator, and Andrei Fursenko. Ex-official, he's supposed to be an innovator. Uh, he became a minister of education and science because he had been a notable innovator. But my dear colleagues, I would like you to join the discussion whenever you feel feel it appropriate. Uh, and uh, we would like to conduct the dialogue not only on the G2G but also B2B level. Renault was chairman. We'll now take the floor. And uh, Mr. Vixelberg. Uh, just to pursue the spirit of invasion, you should not have recognized me to make it a little different. I'm very happy to address this very broad audience, and it's already been stated here that it is the third forum which is taking place in the format of the St. Petersburg Economic Forum. And the best indicator of the change in the level and quality of our dealings with our U.S. partners is the numerical strength of those represented here. I think the organizers uh, have misjudged the required size of the room for those wishing to attend the, the dialogue. This room is too small, really. Our previous forums were held in what you might call a more uh, restricted atmosphere with fewer participants, etc. What we're witnessing today is a good development. Uh, resetting it is becoming a reality in at least qu quantitative terms and based on the dialectics. Qualitative improvement is just around the corner. Intensification of our relations is a reality. In March last year, there was our visit to the United States. We had a number of interesting meetings with the U.S. Chamber of Trade and Industry. We met with Vice President Biden, and those meetings were <coughs> very helpful in providing uh, stimulus to where we are and what the options are for improving our relations. At this point, the EU-Russia forum has just ended in the next room, and one of the main subjects there was Russia's adhesion to WTO. And the EU representatives said they were all for it, and there are other forces that may not be so happy about it. Here, we're hearing that America is also for Russia's adhesion, but there are certain issues. So everyone seems to be for, and for 17 years, it's dragging on without any positive results. So maybe this year we will finally join. Who knows? Uh, and uh, we have a chance of losing a very substantial part of our agenda because we're so used to discussing this perennial issue. Number two, today's forum is marked by such slogans as modernization and innovation. They're just not slogans. Uh, they represent the substance of these meetings, reflecting qualitative change that is taking place in our country. I think that even the format of the participants and the format of the dialogue bears witness to what I'm saying. While originally participants in such meetings were companies in the commodity area predominantly, today it's 
gratifying to observe that we have people representing engineering, software, etc., all pointing to the changes that are occurring in the relationship between the two business communities. I would like to take this opportunity and pay tribute to the Skolkovo project. The Skolkovo project is all about creating an innovation center, which again has a lot of symbols in it. And we're hopeful that American companies will be in the forefront building that project. It is uh, referred to in the media as the Russian Silicon Valley. And of course, in putting together something like this, you cannot hope to accomplish anything without the experience of those who have already succeeded in creating similar things and therefore have a vested interest in working together with the leading U.S. companies. Even today, without waiting for the finalization of the Skolkova project, we have conducted very effective negotiations with Google, Microsoft, Boeing, Cisco. We have uh, attempted to build relationships with MIT, with Stanford, with smaller entities. The project seems to evoke interest, and the way out of the crisis may well be along the lines of raising and resolving new questions and issues which will make it possible for Russian economy, with possible help from the U.S. side, to work in a new way. I would like to address people in business and government and public organizations uh, and call upon them to provide their measure of support. And uh, the view that <coughs> Skolko law will be just an oasis enjoying all sorts of preferences uh, and uh, tax breaks and what have you, and therefore it will be totally alien to the rest of Russia's Kolkovo. It's the beginning of an important long-term and large effort. It's a pilot project. It's a pilot project which we would like to uh, use as a sort of foundation stone for future efforts designed to create new culture, new approaches, new vision of innovations and modernization. Uh, I'd like to 